So today what we have here is a four-way mating box that I've made out of some old equipment. And um, there's been fresh eggs and larvae put in these hives uh, recently, and so we're just gonna check to see uh, how the queen cells are, are progressing. And this first one here is just a, uh, basically a walkway split. So. When I make these splits, I usually will put a frame with resources if they um, don't have any on the main frame or uh, just a blank frame to give plenty of room. They have locked these girls in good. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, so this is just a frame of resources I've given them. Uh, in a little bit of a dearth right now here. Here we have some good eggs and larvae, or larvae, no eggs anymore, that they're just working on. And no queen cells. So this is going to be a problem. I'll probably end up having to just combine this back with another hive. It happens, it's been it's kind of odd that they didn't produce any queen cells though, seeing as how they were queenless. And there's any larva of right age that they can make some on this one, so we'll just put that back, combine them back later. Usually I use this little burlap to kind of seal this edge. It allows for a little ventilation in those, these hot days. But then also keeps everything else out, is the idea. Whether that works or not, I don't know. Uh, this one is in the same situation. Eggs and larva taken from a, another hive. Always try to be as gentle as possible. It keeps the bees from getting upset. Yep, just an empty frame here they're working on. They've kept up some of this brood. Same with this here. Oh, they have a queen. Um, that must be a new queen. <laughs> so maybe I've been a little bit longer than I thought. I don't know if you can see that queen or not. Let's see. There she is. Just a nice. young little virgin running around. Well, maybe I should recheck the other one make sure there's not a queen in there that I just didn't notice. I don't even see any queen cells. <laughs> oh well. That's sorted. So normally during the summer I'll run some uh, nucleus boxes, probably about eight or so, with uh, to raise queens in. And because it's getting towards the end of the season for that, I uh, 
When I sold off this queen, I just uh, split this into my mating box off, off that other, off of the nuke. So we'll see what, because they see where they're at. Building a little bit. Very little bit. Oh, right. nope. so what we have here, as you can see, a queen cell that has emerged there, and then the one next to it has not. So and then there's another one over here, also has not. Um, I don't know if you can tell there. So, they got a little larva on that one too, that's kind of weird. This one, I've been queenless for quite some time, but this whole frame was just eggs. So, they may or may not have a queen in here, it doesn't look like they do. They're really small. Do have plenty of resources. We got some pretty little pollen they're collecting over here, some purples. Um, actually, that's this part right here. See inside that, right underneath that bee there? We got some pollen that they haven't packed in yet, they've just put there. Alright, but this one's got a couple queen cells, so it's gonna be fine. Maybe. Just an empty frame, give me space in the box, and if they want to build, they can. Alrighty. So, this one, we got a queen cell they're kind of working on up here, a couple of them. But they had a queen that emerged right there. So, there may be a queen in this box. Or there may not. So you can see these other two up here. That they're still working on. Now, this hive has been queenless long enough that they should have virgin queen running around. Um, the reason they may not is because I think that they're staging their stuff out to give themselves better chances. Probably when this queen emerged they didn't allow her to... ...kill off the other ones until she came back mated. Um, these do do funny things sometimes. And some more stuff. All right. So there's not a loss yet. These girls are being weird, but we'll we'll see. because we did see a queen in this one um, cells in this one cells in that one both those also had emerged queen cells um, I have been running these nuke boxes for making queens for quite a while it's 
possible it's an older one. Not very likely though. Um, I usually clean those up pretty quick. I do want to get back into here though because these two sets are exactly the same age. These two sets. This one here and this set over here. Um, so if this one has a queen, then this one probably should do. So we'll pull this back out carefully. Cup we're working on there. It does make me quite concerned about this. I think this might be a loss, but we'll, we'll give it some time. Uh, at this point in the year, any of these queens would just be bonus. Nothing I'm really worried about. Making sure I get. So we'll see. But I don't see a queen on here either. So this one here was uh, one of those boxes I've been running queens in. The reason I use a five frame nuke box is just because it's uh, easier. You don't have to worry about making sure that queen has a home right away. She can keep working and building on this. Um, as you can see, I am feeding. Uh, you are in a little bit of a dearth right now. Not too bad, but it's taken them probably about four days to consume that much um, sugar. Um, but the queen has been out of here for several days, so I just want to make sure they're making queen cells. And uh, yeah, so that's what we'll be looking at in this one. On this particular hive, I will use some smoke because uh, they're a little bit bigger <laughs> and a little more feisty. Uh, little hives usually tend to be pretty easy to handle, um, but when I get above a frame or two, they're also pretty protective. There's been a significant amount of robbing going on, uh, so I need to be quick and gentle with these smaller hives so they don't get overrun. Just a few little resources, nothing, nothing much. So this one, this frame was just eggs when I pulled the queen two days ago. Uh, so they could still use this to make queens if they need to. Um, they have not yet done so though. So on to the next frame. cell down there they're working on. Uh, white foundation doesn't make it easy to see what's in there but let me get this close and I'll see. And they got a little larvae 
over in there and there's a bag net full of jelly, which is what you expect after a couple days without a queen. Let's check this other side. Oh, look at that. So what we have under here is we have two beautiful queen cells they're working on. And just packing those. Full of jelly, which is good. Check this last frame here. And this one is just resources. Because like I said, they had uh, the queen here had just shown her good pattern of laying and somebody needed a queen right away so I pulled her out. Um, I did notice that they cannibalized a lot of the eggs um, and young larvae, which would be expected. Um, so this entire frame, although it has a decent laying pattern, was completely laid up, but now there's nothing in these outside cells. So this one is well on its way, it's fine, and we'll just give it some more time. Alright, 